everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Liberation Blind. I'm your host, Lasan Fay, and okay, there's another one. Um, I know the truth. Oh. I am Erudito. Let me show you the unedited version. Nope. Crap. 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 What does he do? Does he like figure eight? Am I not handsome enough? Okay. I'm going to wait till he comes back around. Excusez-moi, madame. Why am I not? Because otherwise I'm going to have to kill a witness or something. Okay, cool. That took me a little bit. A small gesture. Hardly enough. I can offer them a wage, but what good is money without freedom? One day, it will come. Or you will make it. I know it. And in the meantime, what? I should congratulate myself while every day they face abuse or worse? The Templars will never allow slaves to be free. They keep even the rich in bondage. Though most people would never suspect. Gerald, if my father hadn't freed my mother, I'd be in the same predicament. But he did. I still owe them better. And it sent me back to the other side of town, didn't it? Gosh darn it. It's like right up in here. I suppose I didn't go this far south.
Alright. Oh! Oh. Can I come in? The tavern wenches will love me tonight. Let me guess. I come up here. I'd be charming. And there we go. So that was probably the one that was hinted at earlier. Thank you. When I was on the other side of the square. What a pretty dress you've got there. And there's another one. get to them is the tough part. But hey, cool. I know, I was planning on walking out to the plantation and then I got distracted. <laughs> uh. Not with you. Right, somewhere in here? Yes. There we go. Hmm. Sorry. Okay, there is a ladder up. This is how I do it. Since the lady can only drop. enough to obtain. And I kind of like the puzzly aspect of figuring out where I need to go from. So. Cool. So there's that one. How many am I at? I feel like it collected a lot very quickly there. So I got two of those. Seven. All right, cool. So learned about them. Maybe I'll get lucky and find the others pretty quickly. Mes salutations. is also at the bayou. 
Because isn't that how I originally got out there? Oh, I forgot to remove the... And there's a diary page. Because of course there is. There's multiple diary pages, great. here on the way back in grab a dressing room and it'll all be fine dressing room like up there but oh well oh well it'll be fine y'all get to see a lot of back and forth running about today There you are. Look at this face, fellows. Mm. Yep, they they literally do nothing. Wow. Like that was the easiest time they would have had. Where did you get the nice hat? <sighs> okay, cool. So I collected two more since I checked, so that- I'm like on the last one, wow. So is there one along here? That would be helpful. Anyone?
Enchanté de vous revoir. Que yeah. Voltaire. Le secret d'ennuyer. Oh. Do a little loop. see them unless I'm in here. Okay, nope. And I remember that that area has, like, nothing. <laughs> ah, there he is. Cool. Not you. You... Which I get to from the roof. Right there. All right. Hey, figured it out. Sweet. Gems collected. <gasps> Special outfit has been obtained. Mm. Cool. I will have to look into that at some point. Enchanté de vous revoir. Unless, because I don't think I can view my outfit options from here now. Alright, I want to go get the two diary pages out of the plantation. Salutation. Before I forget. Oh, yep, and there's the little pocket pistol. On this persona. I actually really huh? love that touch. The whole, um, well, now you bought it and it's usable. What the heck? A voodoo doll. Fortunate timing. Great. Now I have another persona. Or another collectible. Uh, I hate doing pickpocketing. Like, that's only collectible by this persona. Just similarly how the jewel brooch is only collectible by the, um... Hey, 
And there's that. And there's the conveniently placed. Hey, Bill. Standing, walking so close to me. Uh huh. Mm. <laughs> awesome. Anything else while I'm out here? Does not seem like it. not seem like it at all. Oh, that's the other thing. Since I found out, since I found the citizen at the beginning of this episode, that probably means that the database codex entries are updated. Which is exciting. To me anyways. Um, here, I'm gonna give my run fingers a break for a second, because now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, so, so Raphael Joaquin de Ferrer, uh, Raphael Joaquin de Ferrer was born in Guipuscoa in 1730s to a Templar family and sent to Cuba at an early age. In 1765, he worked with Governor Jean-Jacques Blaise de Bari to ensure the transition of the Louisiana Territory to Templar oversight. Unlike uh, Antonio de Ulloa, he was a ruthless soldier who rose to prominence and responsibility overseeing excavation research. De Ferro was a key proponent of a Templar initiative to divert slave labor to search for, for civilization artifacts. He was assassinated at a Chichen Itza worksite at the hand of noted assassin Abilene de Grand Prix. Oh, well, cool. Good to know that's coming up. Gerald Blanc. Gerald Blanc was born in Acadia in 1745 to a rebellious family whose militant actions against the English occupation preceded the great and terrible expulsion of the Acadians to Louisiana, death, or hiding, following the burning of their homes. Uh, Blanc arrived in New Orleans an orphan at the age of 10 and earned his keep first as an errand boy, then as a clerk and accountant for to Philippe de Grand Prix, educated, uh, intelligent, mild-mannered, and preoccupied with justice. He was welcomed into the Assassin Brotherhood and trained as an information officer. His lifelong infatuation with childhood companion Abelie de Grand Prix is well documented, but the true nature remains unconfirmed. Okay, so we don't know about anyone else yet. Cool. All right, uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to accomplish now? Well, I suppose I did pick up two diary pages. So what I may do is I will get us back over to where the memory start is. And um, I won't start the memory today, but I will take a little bit to go read the new pages we picked up. Sure, just takes it off of the mini map. So 
to fear distractions. Oh, oh no, that's what else I'm going to do before I end the episode. Is I'm going to check out the new outfit I unlocked. Or otherwise I'm going to forget. unlocked in the tailor shop and I have to go purchase because I unlocked it, it's one of the free ones. Uh, I don't need to purchase it right now. I just want to see what it is. So if it is for money... Hmm. I will probably wait to go to a tailor shop that I own. charming dress. Yeah, it's free. Cute. I like that it's a different style of dress versus just like a color reskin. towards where the memory will start for next time. So let's read some diary entries. All right. Oh. Page two. Today A took my hand, but he dropped it when B came near and laughed. He says M will be angry. He say A should be training. Training for what? I do not like B or trust him. He is rude. Okay. Um, read those. Okay. And 
page 21 is new. Monsieur de G, I will not call him P now, has married the madam. He insists nothing need change between us, but he is blind. Already everything has changed. Aveline and I have our own private quarters in the mansion, and the madam fancies that she employs me as her personal handmaid. How she is able to support my presence with the gossiping tongues of New Orleans lapping always at our door, I do not know. Still, I dream of fleeing, but Aveline loves her father so I cannot wrench, wrench her from him as I was stolen from my parents. Okay, just making sure. Yep. Cool. Well, that is. That are, those are the new diary entries. So, pretty neat. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in to this episode. And in the meantime, in between time, take care, have fun, and happy trails.